Hey, good evening everyone. This is another session on palmistry and this is one of those palms, right, where, where you just intuitively feel uh, that, you know, there's so much to tell because of the presence of so many lines. And for me, palmistry is, is a way or is a method to connect with people, you know, to really know about their lives, to connect them on a deeper level. And this palm says a lot of things to me, you know, and that's where I felt I should do a bit more justice to this palm. There are a lot of symbols, there are a lot of important signs, and hence it's important to sort of explore this palm a bit more. And that's where in this video we will discuss few more signs as well, interesting signs. We'll try to go into deep into them and we'll try to time them. You know, it's very critical that we now start integrating and timing all these events and gradually progress towards you know, uh, making more accurate uh, predictions, right? Uh, so the framework, large, the large framework would be to identify more important signs in this particular form uh, and then try to figure out the timing of them, right? So that that is very, very critical. So we'll try to look into that and the framework would be we'll try to at least identify six to seven important signs we'll try to you know understand what they can indicate and we learn from that as well again before starting with the video i would like to extend my gratitude to all the higher gurus lord shiva lord shani my uh, friend siddharth and all of you for continuously learning something out of from my videos i hope you continue to like it and if you do like it do consider liking subscribing and sharing these videos uh, for uh, you know, that could really give me a lot of motivation. So let's get started and let's get to know about this palm a bit more. Now, when I look into this palm, you know, there are few more indications that are that we missed in the first part of the video. Okay. Now, if you have a closer look into this palm, we can clearly see that there are a lot of amazing features. For example, if you look into the Mount of Moon, you can almost see a sort of a star-like symbol coming in, something like this uh, on the Mount of Moon. It's not exactly there, uh, but it's sort of in the formative phase. And this can indicate a lot of talent towards creativity, you know. So stars are sort of symbols which come in this particular format. Okay, they come like this and then uh, just to illustrate you, uh, they come somewhat like this and like this and like this right and they can indicate towards a lot of brilliancy stars are the sign which can indicate uh, brilliance you know but not at all the mounts stars typically on the mount of moon okay on the mount of moon can be very good okay and on the mount of jupiter can be very good but on all the other mounts, they're not considered very, very good. Even on the Mount of Sun, to a good degree, it's considered good. Now, on the Mount of Moon, for example, let's say, let's assume that there is a star over here. Okay, though it's not very clearly there, it's in the formative state. But when will the star, the star come in the operation? Okay, so clearly it's found on the Mount of Moon. We clearly see that if we sort of divide the boundary of the moon from somewhere let's say here till here you know it comes to and and we start timing the mount you know so it's because it's more on the passive side we have to time it the other way that is from down to up right so the timing has to be done in this particular fashion okay because it's to the uh, it's to the either side of things right uh, so it has to be timed in this particular fashion okay always remember that either side timing is over here and the pingla side when we are timing the things on this side of the palm time it in this direction so most of the mounts in this place or around this zone should be you know timed in the top to bottom formation generally and uh, of course there can be some uh, there can be some uh, exceptions, but largely speaking, this method would work. Now, in this case, if you're timing from down to bottom, some event, if it is not even a star, but some critical event is happening, 
let's say not uh, around about middle right maybe at or around the ages of 40 45 if we have to time this way okay so if i have to let's say time the amount of moon somewhere here it would be around 20 maybe okay uh, and then somewhere here it would be 40 okay and then somewhere over here it would be 70 75 okay so obviously around the ages of 40 something is happening on the mount of moon if you try to you know sort of time it and similarly at or around the age of 40 if you look in from the headline perspective the headline starts bending downwards okay so clearly we can say that the headline has begun to bend downwards right it's it's beginning to come in the downward location post the ages of 40 or so so for sure post the ages of 40 the person can get into a mental brilliance or some important thing will happen and the person can gain a lot of success in literature or any form of creativity now we do understand that if the person is going to get such, such form of recognition it should also come across on the sun line in some way you can clearly see that the sun line is fairly uh, strong as well you can clearly see that the sun line is very prominent especially post the ages of 40 also if we if we are being honest we can also see that the carrier line is becoming very aggressive and going towards the mount of jupiter and of course jupiter and moon are very close to each other and hence that's how we can come to this conclusion or a fair bit of conclusion that post 40 some good things are going to come in this person's life and if this is likely to be a star right then this can indicate mental brilliance uh, creation uh, literature success in literature and stuff like that that is how we have to time such important markings in the hand always remember which mount we are also sort of timing now another important and interesting part of the hand is just see around the age of 40 i'll show you this is again a sort of brilliance that is coming into the person's hand you see one branch is going downwards one branch is sort of going upwards and one branch is going right in the center this is forming a sort of a trident right and this can indicate that right at or around that particular age that is somewhere around 40 the person is able to be very business like at the same time the person is very creative and very practical as well the trident formation is coming into existence to a good for me uh, to a to a fairly at, at that particular time that is around 40 or so so that is how we can cross verify that yeah around 40 some really positive changes are coming for the person so hopefully this point is clear you see it's not like a proper trident the same way that it's not like a proper uh, you know star it means that that potential will be there and at that particular age the person can really uh, you know get a platform to launch uh, herself and, and 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 what i feel is that the person can really do brilliant okay so these are two of the timings and they are sort of uh, collaborating and sort of coming at the same point right now uh, let us also try to understand what else is happening in the farm what are the other important you know features of this particular farm now if we are uh, also having a closer look uh, on the mount of uh, jupiter you can see that there are a lot of these vertical lines you can see there are one two and three and four right there are a lot of these vertical lines and the vertical lines does indicate towards a lot of drive a lot of potential coming into picture but when is jupiter operating the most now let us try to understand that we know that the person will be ambitious but when will jupiter operate it's very important to look for that as well now let us look in for cues to understand that now to begin with on the heart line there are few branches that are going towards jupiter this one is uh, hinting towards jupiter right this one is also hinting towards jupiter so we can say largely between maybe 25 to 29 or 25 to 30 yes there are some 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 ambitious part that are coming in also on the lifeline we can see this line moving towards jupiter right 
so somewhere around the ages of 25 26 and then there are few more branches that are over here and then that's that so 25 to 30 this ambition can be very high and that can be the period where the person can really get into a very ambitious mode okay now will jupiter come at any other time well to figure that out we need to continue to look into all the main lines now you see on the heart line we don't see any further ambition coming into picture none of the branches are going towards jupiter so heart line is ruled out let's look into the headline uh, nothing very prominent over here as well let us look into the lifeline nothing is coming over here as well we can't see a rising line or anything like that but when you, when we come to the job line you can see a lot of these lines are sort of bent slightly towards the mount of jupiter right a sort of bendiness is coming and that can indicate that between 35 to 45 again jupiter will come into operation because clearly the fate line is getting triggered and moving towards slightly towards the mount of jupiter so hence we can say that uh, this extreme amount of ambition will come into this person's time at two times you know one roughly around the ages from 25 uh, to 30 or so and another one between 35 to 45 and that is how we have to go about the reading of the palm we have to assess every symbol and then see when the impact of that would come or when will that symbol will actually come into operation so that becomes more and more critical now let us pick up one more sign and try to understand when that would come into operation as well okay so let's go into the southern end of the palm we don't see anything much there's nothing over here there's nothing over here there is this mercury line let's pick up one let's say uh, travel line okay now let's first figure out which is the strongest travel line this one looks pretty strong right now again if we time it from the bottom to up this comes again roughly at or around the ages of 40 45 okay so you know uh, let's say let's take a rough approximation this would be let's say around the ages of 40 okay so around the ages of 40 you can see this travel line so maybe around 40 the travel will happen but let's look into all the other lines to figure out whether the travel will really happen or not okay so let's look at and always remember the horizontal bars will always indicate towards a physical travel because horizontal bars are more material by nature so it's the actual travel whereas the vertical lines will indicate towards astral travel you know vertical lines are far more smoother they have lesser resistance so vertical lines will indicate towards that now let us look into the other lines at around 40 nothing is happening on the heart line nothing is happening on the head line we can't see any glimpse of anything but around the age of 40 you can see that the lifeline is sort of moving outwards so if you see over here you can see uh, you know somewhat the lifeline is sort of moving somewhat towards the mount of moon right and this is a fair amount of chance that around 40 you know uh, the person might actually travel because there is some attraction towards the mount of moon okay now at times these lines would be pretty direct but it's it's sort of pointing more towards i would say ketu or more towards the lower down of the mount of moon which can indicate that probably this travel can be for some spiritual reasons or maybe the subconscious mind just feels like going towards there because it's pointing right at the southern end of the mount of moon at all the other lines there's not much that we can say for example the job lines are somewhere between jupiter and saturn it's very difficult to con conclude nothing happening over here so more or less maybe towards 40 or so there will be a travel probably a subconscious desire and this travel can be somewhere towards canada or us and probably at or around the age of 40. so hopefully you got few more indications in the palm and you are learning how to cross verify them and i hope you do get uh, some more clarity looking at these videos about yourself as well i'm shikank to palmistry do check my channel for more till then take care have a brilliant day bye bye